How Seasons Occur, Part 1 Introduction We know that the planet on which we live is known as the Earth. The Earth spins around its own axis and revolves around the Sun, which is known as rotation and revolution respectively. We have been learning that the Earth takes 24 hours to rotate around itself and 365 and 14 days to revolve around the Sun. Let us recall the following questions that we already studied in the previous year. How do day and night occur on the Earth? Day and night occur due to rotation of the Earth. What term is used to describe the Earth's revolution around the Sun? The Earth's motion around the Sun is called as revolution. How long does the Earth take to do so? The Earth takes 365 and 14 days to complete one revolution. In which hemispheres is our country located? Our country is located in northern and eastern hemisphere. Why don't the sun's rays fall perpendicular at all places on the earth? The sun's rays don't fall perpendicular at all the places on the earth because of the inclined axis of the earth. Geographical explanation. It takes 24 hours for the earth to rotate around itself. It rotates from west to east. The Earth's rotation has enabled us to measure time in terms of days. During a single day, we experience different stages like sunrise, midday, sunset, as well as daytime and nighttime. To understand the changes in the locations of sunrise and sunset on the horizon, let us carry out the following activity. Try this. Paste a large white paper on one side of the table. Place a torch in front of the table in such a way that it wouldn't move. Stand a rod or a candle between the white paper and the torch. Direct the light beam of the torch in such a way that the shadow of the rod or candle falls on the paper. Mark the position of the shadow on the paper. Move the table along with a rod or candle from one side to the other slowly. Observe and mark the position of the shadow that falls on the paper. Note the change in the location of the shadow. From this activity, we can understand that as the position of the table changes, the position of the shadow also changes. If the positions of the sunrise and the sunset on the horizon are observed for the whole year, you will realize that they keep on changing. Let us understand the reason behind this with the help of next activity. Try this. Take a thick stick about 1.5 to 1.7 meter long. Keeping some distance, fix the stick near a wall that receives sunlight at the time of sunrise or sunset throughout the year. Remember that the stick has to be fixed at this spot for a period of about one year. After the observation, mark the position of the shadow for that date. If the position of the shadow changes, measure and note the distance between the earlier and the changed position. During the period of this activity, observe the place of sunrise and the sunset on the horizon as well. We all know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. You would realize through your observations in the last activity that the place where the sun rises keeps changing every day. In fact, the sun remains in the same place and it is the earth with its inclined axis that revolves around the sun. That is why, looking from the earth, it appears that the sun is moving either to the north 
or to the south. The combined effect of the inclination of the Earth's axis and the orbital motion of the Earth causes seasons.